Right now, scientists are still observing the body of that sperm whale that mm -hmm. beached itself right off the coast of Venice. And then, of course, they took it out and we saw the sharks feeding on yes, it. Yes, we did. They're tracking this to learn more about the cycle of life and how long it could take for its body to sink to the ocean floor. In Tampa Bay photojournalist Tim Burkwest has been keeping close watch on the progress as scientists continue to study that whale that we're talking about. We want to warn you, too, some of these images you're going to see are disturbing to watch. Yeah, the whale did not die in vain, you know, had it not made it all the way to the beach, that's what would have occurred naturally. We, we wanted to do what would have happened naturally by taking it back offshore. We actually went out with the Sarasota Sheriff's Office so that we could get a, get a look at the whale. Um, we're actually going to try to do a drift study analysis to see how long it takes for the whale to disappear. We got to see one of the white sharks, um, which was, was fascinating. I mean, it was absolutely breathtaking. And we saw a tiger shark, a dusky shark, and, um, you know, it was just, it, that, was, that was a cool thing to be able to see full circle, especially for those of us that were there from day one. You know, we didn't know what to expect, so it's been, it's been a fascinating thing for all of us, both, um, you know, the people that worked on the whale and the shark researchers, so it's, a, it's been a pretty, pretty Pretty remarkable thing. So we'll see where the whale goes. So we know where we left it and then we'll continue to follow it to see how long it takes to disappear. So I know some of our colleagues followed one on the east coast, a humpback, and it disappeared within four days. So you know it, it is valuable even those sorts of things for us to understand how long it takes for this animal to become a whale fall. So that's the way it disappears by being eaten. And and falling to the bottom both, yes. Uh, so a whale fall is a natural sink that um, after the carcass passes away, all of those nutrients go down to the bottom of the ocean and it becomes a whole separate ecosystem and uh, lots of different animals then come and take use of that carcass. So it's a, it's a really great way to you know, sort of ecological recycling. You know, even though it is a carcass, it is still federally protected and people should stay at least 100 yards away. Um, we want to let nature continue to take its course. So while it is a pretty remarkable sight, you know, please just be respectful. Give the animals the space to do what they're going to do um, and, you know, just be kind and respectful.